hello and good morning welcome to homemaking and heels um, my name is serenity if you're new and today i thought i would just bring you guys along for a little day in the life please excuse if the camera is all like this i have yet to invest in a tripod i literally am just using my iphone camera so we're keeping it real but like i said i thought i would bring you guys along for a little day in the life video today so i like to get up at around nine and have a super slow morning so right now i'm just right now i'm just watching some youtube videos and then in a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and have my quiet time and then get on with my day good morning mr nose how are you doing today you feeling good can you say hi to the nice people of youtube no you're still tired look at your face you look so grumpy all right, you guys, I have just settled into my cozy little quiet time spot. I'm sorry if you hear the AC really loud. We're at that part, like that time of the year in California where, you know, it's 10 a.m. and it's already about 100 degrees outside. I wish I was exaggerating. <laughs> Maybe it's 90. But anyways, like I said, I hope you can hear me okay still, but I'm just going to go ahead and have my quiet time. This is my little quiet time nook behind the couch. I have my little green chair and then you guys are actually propped up on my bookshelf which I'll go ahead and show you guys. Okay so then this is the view from where I'm sitting. This is just my little cubby shelf. There's the AC and just my little bookshelf. is done and I just wanted to read to you guys two of the verses that I have propped up behind you actually that have been really encouraging me in this season so the first one I wanted to read to you is Psalm 126 verses 1 through 5 and it says when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion we were like those who dream our mouths were filled with laughter then and our tongues with shouts of joy then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us. We were joyful. Restore our fortunes, Lord, like water courses in the Negev. Those who sow in tears will reap with shouts of joy. And this is gonna bother me, but I forgot to add quotation marks at the end of it. <laughs> there we go. But so that's the first one, and that's just really been ministering to my soul. So I have it set here in my little quiet time section. And then this one is Isaiah 54, 10. And it says, though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has compassion on you. And those have just been blessing my soul this past season and so I pray it blesses yours as well. Now like I said I've just finished my quiet time so I'm gonna go ahead and start making breakfast for my husband who you might hear coughing <laughs> right now um, and then after that it's really our time so I probably won't film that. I like to keep the time that he and I have together in the mornings kind of separate so I'm gonna make him breakfast. We're gonna have breakfast together spend some time before he leaves and then after he leaves i'm gonna go ahead and do my morning workout and shower and get more ready for the day and all of that good stuff so yeah i thought i would show you guys what i'm doing for breakfast this morning so this is my little pan i line the bottom is just like a little cookie sheet that came with this and this is actually from my mother-in-law but i line this with foil and then i spray this one and then i put bacon on here and then I cook it for about 15 or 20 minutes at 425 and then that way a lot of fat runs off into here. And it's easy cleanup. You just pop this one in the dishwasher, take off the foil, and it's simple. So I'm gonna be making that and some fried eggs. Hi 
All right, you guys, that is my workout done. For anybody wondering, I use the Apple Fitness Plus app on my TV. That's my favorite thing <laughs> that I have found. Um, so yeah, I used that. Today I did a strength workout with Kyle, I believe the trainer's name was. So now I'm just gonna hop in the shower, get ready for the day, and I will chat to you guys in a bit. Oh, and my phone died earlier, so that's why you just saw me like putting the bacon in the oven and you didn't really see anything since then because my phone died, so I've been charging it. But we are back. Okay, so I did just wanna show you guys my little outfit of the day before I go outside and water my garden with you guys. I'm just wearing this little Breton top. It is officially updo season in California. I believe it is. Oh, it's not showing me. I believe it's like 90 degrees outside, maybe a bit more. So I should have my hair up in a little ballerina bun. And then I'm wearing this little Breton top, little blue pleated skirt. I think this was actually a schoolgirl like uniform skirt that I then hemmed. And then my knockoff Burks because they're super comfy. These ones, I'm actually gonna leave them linked down below. They're comfier than my actual Burks. They are amazing and they were $30 as opposed to like 90. So in case you heard my dog crying, that was him. I'm gonna take him out back now and we are gonna go water the garden. Okay, so now we are in the kitchen. I just had some lunch and I'm gonna go ahead and empty the dishwasher, reload the dishwasher, all that good stuff. And then after that, I think it's going to be time to dust and vacuum and then check on how the laundry is doing. But something I did wanna show you guys, let me actually grab it. Um, my husband and I have really been working on going more and more all natural and organic as much as possible. So with that, one of the things that I really wanted to do, it's interesting, my dad was actually always really big about this when we were growing up, was purify the sources of scent in the house. So people don't realize just quite how toxic certain perfumes can be. So with that, even with my perfumes, I've been trying to go more and more all natural. I'm actually in the process of making a perfume. We'll see how that goes, I'll give you updates. Um, yeah, but so just, you know, purifying as much as we can. So with that, I actually made my own multi-purpose spray that works on glass, pretty much everything. The only thing I didn't like how it worked on was I tried to use it on the stainless steel and that didn't work, so I just went back to Barkeeper's Friend. And then my own version of Febreze. So the little recipes for this, I'll probably write them down down below, but this one just real quickly is, I believe I did tea tree, peppermint, cedarwood, spruce, um, lavender, and a few other essential oils. I don't remember all of them, that's why I'm gonna link them down below, or write it out down below, along with two thirds alcohol, a third water, and then like a tablespoon of peroxide. So that's this, that's my all-purpose spray and that way I know that it's all safe too like it's okay if it gets in my body it's fine and then this one is just one tablespoon of rubbing alcohol 20 drops of lavender and then fill it with water and I love it this one for me this the scent lasts longer than Febreze like it actually stays longer but I wanted to go ahead and show you these because this has been working better on my counters than anything else. And then, like I said, this has been working better than Febreze. And then I know that it's all natural. So even like with, I don't know if you saw our detergent, we're going eco-friendly, dye-free, all of that good stuff. But really just trying to streamline all of it. And it's definitely, definitely a journey, so don't come for me. All right, we're still learning, still figuring all of that out. But I did just want to mention that because I think I'm going to probably start sharing a little bit more of that. Um, even my face routine now in terms of like skincare is all made with my oils. <laughs> I don't buy anything for that anymore. I just use essential oils, a lot of Burt's Bees products in the house now. <laughs> just trying to figure all that out and streamline that. And then with that too, of course, as much as possible, make it as sustainable for the planet. So I like that, for instance, these are glass. They're never gonna be thrown out. I'm gonna always be using these. Can just repurpose them. So any hoozy, 
like I said, it's a journey. Don't come for me <laughs> as I'm figuring it out. But I did want to go on the journey with you guys and talk about that and see if you guys have any ideas, share with you guys what I'm learning, all that good stuff. But anyways, enough rambling. Let me deal with my dishes. All right, you guys, and just like that, our breaker tripped. <laughs> so thankfully it tripped right when I was done vacuuming, but I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and fix that, and then I'll be right back because it's only been like 30 seconds without the AC on, and already I'm like, okay, I feel it. <laughs> so be right back. Okay, so I'm actually just about to run to Target to pick up a few things. But I'm switching out my bags. I just feel like carrying a different bag. So that reminded me of something else I want to show you guys that I keep in my bag at all times now, which is my little case of oils. This one I just took out. Um, this is Fighting Five. So I get all of my oils from Eden's Garden. They're my favorite. But this one is just their Fighting Five blend. So it's an immunity booster all that good stuff. I mixed it with fractionated coconut oil and I just keep it in a little roll on. So when I was actually traveling, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know, I just got back from Denmark. I was visiting family and my niece and nephew got me sick. <laughs> it was so worth it, but it was all in my throat. So instead of a throat lozenge, I found that this actually worked a lot better. I just rubbed it all up and down my throat. Here, I'll show you because it never hurts. I just did this and within a couple of minutes, my throat would feel better, everything was great. So this I believe is like two types of eucalyptus, rosemary, whole bunch of other good stuff. But I keep this one in my bag along with, this is a little headache blend. This is not from Eden's Garden. This one I got at Marshall's and I can kind of tell like it's definitely mixed with it was already mixed with the carrier oil and then I mix it with my own. I think it's mostly just peppermint oil and then I think like one other thing, maybe lavender. This is the Eden's Gardens Sniffles and Sneezes blend that like I said, I then mixed with fractionated coconut oil. I put this like that under my nose instead of like Claritin or something if I'm feeling some allergies and it always helps. This is their Anxiety Ease blend, which I like to put I'm just gonna put them all on and show you. I like to put it right here. And sometimes I'll even put it like on my decolletage. And I just find that it really does help soothe any nerves, just calm me down. For those of you who don't know, I do suffer from relatively high cortisol. Um, it's kind of just a genetic thing. And so this helps regulate all of that. And then my last one I have in here, ooh, is lavender and tea tree oil that I then just mix, same with everything with fractionated coconut oil. And I keep this one because if I get a little cut, if I get a little scrape, there's so many different things for lavender and tea tree, but I find myself reaching for this one pretty frequently for, like I said, if I just get any kind of little cuts or scrapes, I just rub it right on and it helps clean the area as well as because of the lavender, it helps soothe the area. So I just wanted to show you guys that because that's been really fun for me. And it's kind of like my little medicine kit that I just keep in my bag now at all times. <laughs> and then I also just thought I would mention, by the way, if you see it, this is all of my fall stuff in the background. I am getting very much ready for fall. I am very much a fall baby. So I'm gearing up for me. Fall starts on August 1st. So prepare for a decorate with me. <laughs> But I did want to show you guys, this has been my absolute favorite little lip thingy. I'm wearing it right now. It's by Burt's Bees and it's in their peony color, but I love this. So I did just want to show you guys, it's a more natural lip option, which I struggle to find good all natural lip options, which is why I have to say, okay, I'm not the biggest fan of the Kardashians for a few reasons, 
but I will say the Kylie Jenner lip kits are top notch. Like they are by far the best lip product I've ever had. And I did hear that now they're relaunching fully clean. So I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if this is gonna get included in the vlog. Um, mm. So, um, <laughs> can you tell I'm nervous? So, I was in the car driving back from Target. I got everything I needed. And this song that is like the anthem of my high school years, um, Beneath Water by Mike Maines and the Branches, check it out, um, came on and I haven't heard it in a long time. And it really is the anthem of my like high school years. Like that song, <laughs> I have an anchor tattoo on my arm in like memoriam of that song, partially in memoriam of that song. Um, there's a lot going on in that tattoo, but yeah, the anchor is like to hold me beneath the water, if that makes sense. So check out the song. Anyways, long story short, the reason I'm babbling, I'm here in my husband's bathroom, if you can't tell, and I'm gonna see if I can re-pierce my nose with this sterilized needle. Okay, kids, don't try this at home. Husband, I'm sorry, blame Mike Mains. Okay, the things we do. So, okay. Sorry if that just messed with the lighting, but we're gonna try this. It might not work, this might not make it to the vlog. Oh my God. Is this making any dent? I don't even know. Am I gonna cry? I don't know. What I do know is that I need to clean, clean my nose pores. Like, come on y'all. I think we all have that issue. But I heard that those strips are so bad for you. Anywho. I'm just gonna hold this here and gradually keep doing this. You guys, why do I do the things I do? I swear I'm not just doing this for the vlog. I know people are gonna comment that I'm not. Mm. Is it going anywhere? I don't think so. You guys, I think I might just have to like actually go get it professionally repierced if we even want to do that. Nope, yep, we're not doing this. This ain't making it to the vlog. Okay, so the nose piercing didn't work. Um, it was worth a shot. So fun fact too of why I even like tried that. When I was, gosh, I must've been like nine years. I think I was nine. Um, I had gotten my ears pierced, I believe, when I was six, but I was awful and, like, didn't keep the earrings in long enough for them to heal or something like that. I forget why. They didn't heal, but they didn't heal. So, I got them re-pierced when I was nine, but before I did that, I took, like, an earring and I re-pierced them myself for the most part. There was just like a tiny little layer of skin through it and I couldn't, that was the last bit. I had almost gotten all of it. Sorry if you heard George, he's being a good guard dog. <laughs> so that's why I thought I would try, but I think this one might just not be worth it, but we'll see. Anywho, I'm gonna try these ones now. Ear piercings, I feel like stay better once they're actually fully pierced. So let's see if I can get these ones back. And I wonder about my cartilage. Is my cartilage still pierced? How long has it been since I've worn earrings in this piercing? It's been like a hot minute. I can't believe I'm even trying this. Am I gonna regret this? Where's the back of the hole? It's mostly in, where's the rest of my hole? So just so you guys know too, I'm using my Ana Luisa earrings for this because they're some of the most pure that I have. Ah! Y'all, I'm gonna regret this, I know it. Oof, that hurt, but it made it. Oh, guys, why have I not been wearing this? Why have I not been wearing this? You know why I haven't been wearing this? Because I went through an existential crisis. Not even kidding, <laughs> like when I moved out here. Of uh, who am I now? I'm no longer in Miami, the land of my fellow gypsies. I'm out here. And what I was saying was, um, 
before George started barking, I went through a genuine like existential crisis when I moved out here of being away. Well, it stemmed from being away from all my other fellow gypsies. Oh, this one was totally still pierced. So I took out all my extra piercings. I had four in this ear, three in this ear, and then my nose ring. And I took them all out except for like these ones. And now after hearing that song, I'm just like, do I miss it? Do I want all my earrings back? I think I do. And considering that these ones are still pierced, like no reason not to, you know? Was I was going through that existential crisis about, you know, am I still gypsy? What the heck is going on? I mean, obviously I'm still gypsy by heritage, but I mean, like it was this whole moment of, I now live in the suburbs, not in crazy. Miami and so it was just this whole deal but I'm really glad that I actually now I'm putting these back in. Oh my this one I'm repiercing too. Okay, if these are so easy to repierce, I bet you I was like almost there with the, the nose. Let me get a different earring. Y'all, the things we do. Okay, this is a sharper earring. That one had a screw back. Oh, that's fine. Okay, see that looks like a pirate we're gonna try something different we're gonna try something different mm. all right you guys now we have a real dilemma because this worked don't worry i'm gonna sanitize this now ow and i'm out of um out of toe strings Okay, be right back. Lordy B. Okay, so I'm back with the peroxide. We're just gonna sanitize some of these bad boys. So I decided for now, until I get another, I wonder if this will even work. Till I get another nose ring, I'm gonna do something I did while I was in India, which is I took an earring and I used it as a nose ring because my nose ring that was a stud had like fallen out. Oh Lord, this hurts. And I knew that this wouldn't, you know, using a hoop wouldn't fall out. I wonder what my husband's going to say. You guys, I'm like emotional now and this hurts. You guys, you guys, like what? <laughs> I feel like myself again. <sighs> okay. This hurts. We might put this one now in this and just see how this all goes. Let's, let's try. We're going to play. This is not how I expected this vlog to go. You guys, this is not what I expected to happen, but Oh Lord, these hurt. Okay. It's not bleeding though. So that's a good sign that it actually was not a lot to re-pierce. I don't know. I kind of want to keep these here for right now, but I don't like how they look. Oh no, we're going to try some stuff. Oh, we're figuring things out, y'all. We are playing and we are figuring things out. I love my nose ring. I miss my nose ring. You guys. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this here, I think. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Okay. We're gonna do this. Okay. <sighs> now, this is probably gonna hurt, but that's worth it. Beauty is pain. Why do I love this so much? I need to get a little stud again. I think we're gonna have to overnight a stud. No, do not fall if this falls right now. I'm just sanitizing these a whole bunch because, you know, that's what you should do. I love how this looks, this pair. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and sanitize it and put it over here. And I might move, not this one, this one, which is, these are the Ana Luisa ones. Um, I think I might put it in my cartilage. We'll see, or I might put a little diamond in my cartilage. Let me sanitize it. Oh wait, no, first I need to put the back on here. 
You guys, I can't believe I did this. This is, see what, okay, so let me tell you what happened. That song came on, like I said, and then prior to that, so I told you guys, I have my one tattoo. It's my big one right here. I have this one that I got for my 18th birthday. And then, ooh, my god sister and I recently, like, I don't know, a month or two ago, something like that. This earring back does not want to go on. We decided to get finally our matching tattoos, which I just got mine. She's going to get hers. But that happened. Okay. So yeah, I got my matching sister tattoo. I love this set. Then when I was in Denmark, my brother was getting a tattoo and then my cousin decided to get a tattoo. So then I got a tattoo. <laughs> Family peer pressure, y'all. So <laughs> I got this one, which it's hard to show you guys on camera. Just, you can see it on my Instagram, but it is the Danish Royal Crown and then an R for Rentini, which is my family name. Like it's what, it's my family nickname. It's what all my family has always called me. And this is what my grandfather used to draw on the top of my homework. Um, like if I did really well when he was helping me with my homework. <sighs> Cause if you didn't know, I'm homeschooled and he was a school teacher, all this stuff. So he drew it for me when I was in Denmark and then I got his drawing just traced over and tattooed. So that I think stemmed some of this. But here we are, putting piercings back in. Guys, why do I feel so much better? I don't know. I might take out the nose ring. I might switch it back to a stud. The thing is that my husband has been telling me lately that he misses my stud, but I threw out all my nose studs. So, and I don't really want to put like another big one like this in again. So, yeah. All right, I just sanitized that. Stick that there. Oh, that's cute. It's not quite as dainty, but it's cute. See, here's my problem is that I need this one here. That's just what needs to happen. Do I have to run to like a Hot Topic right now and get a nose ring? Guys, I decided what we're gonna do. This is gonna be the stack for today until I'm gonna order a new, um, is my nose bleeding? Anyways, I'm gonna order a new nose ring on Amazon like I told you guys. So what I'm gonna do right now is sterilize oh, these and get them situated. Oh, that's right, and then I want to put this one. No, I'm just gonna sterilize it and set it aside. This thing is going to require so much editing, but you guys, it's going to be so worth it. So worth it. Okay. This I'm going to put back in the jewelry box. Here's the thing is that I don't know that I massively love having the big gold ring, but I do think I'd like to have my stud back. I don't know. We'll see. I'll order a stud and then we can go from there. I know my husband will love it. So there's that. Ugh. I feel like I'm like abnormally thrilled about this. So what I decided is I'm going to put my pearls on the second one. Oh, that hurt a little bit. I think the peroxide was still very fresh. See, I love how that looks. See the two? And then now I'm just pouring this peroxide. I want it all over everything that's going inside these fresh holes. Okay. This one. Oh, I needed one more back. Oh wait, no, I have backs right here. Okay. George. Hi. This is gonna be such a joke among my family now. Ren goes back to Denmark and then gets one tattoo and then puts all of her piercings back in. I've missed being a pirate. Okay. Um. Here's my thing too, here's my thing too. I'm gonna just say this. I feel like I need to squat down so y'all can see me better. I am a firm believer in that you can have 
tattoos and piercings and still be elegant and feminine. I just am. And I'm gonna also be very honest that when I went back to Denmark, especially, I had another little bit of like a little, this time it was a mini existential crisis of have I just become only suburban? Am I not still the gritty, you know, girl who went to the jungle at 15 and this and that and whatever, whatever. And so in that, I realized, you know, I do miss some of my grit in terms of being inked and pierced up. And so this feels good. Obviously I don't need this to feel gritty, but it feels good to have it back. Especially if you consider, I had been used to seeing myself with it for like, gosh, I got my nose ring for my 17th birthday. I got my cartilage for my 16th. I only took them out. When did I even take them out? Pretty recent like a couple years ago. So I have been used to seeing myself with some sort of piercing, we'll say, I think it'd be safe to say for the better part of seven years, I had had at least this one and then the rest got filled up. This one I did when I was 18, this one I did when I moved here. So that means I didn't take them all out till maybe a year after I got this one. So that would have been 2018. And I don't even remember, this is bad. I don't remember what year it was when I was 16 that I first began getting piercings and tats so it does feel like myself to see all of these back in I think also too now it's about I think the fact that I have figured out my personal style which I hadn't at the time um I think that really helps like now I know okay I am this girly I'm allowed to dress super girly which was something that happened after moving here that I began to feel really comfortable in my girliness. So I think that, do I wanna put this here? So I think that now that I am comfortable in all of that, I also then feel more comfortable having all my, my piercings back in. You guys, does the leaf look weird? Yeah, you can't tell it's a leaf. Like, it just looks like a big black thing. Do I want a little diamond? I think I want a little diamond. I might get an actual like gold little pretty leaf thing. This is from Claire's forever ago. Y'all, my sink is like sizzling right now. Oh, I can't wait to send a picture to my husband. I wonder what he's gonna say. And to my sister. Gosh, my god sister. Okay, why did this work a second ago and now it's the one with the screw that it doesn't want to fit, you guys? Do I have to screw it in? Like, what the heck is this? The back of the hole must just be smaller. In which case I might have to use the Anna Luisa in that one. Oh, Lordy, that hurt. Ha ha, it's a tamale. But I think I want to use this. Like, I really do want to use this one. The side making or the side to homemaking and heels that y'all didn't know was here. Oh! Ow! Ow! Oof! Duh! Oh my word! This one might bleed a little bit. Ah! Oh, got it. Whoo! Y'all. No blood, we're good. And then these ones, I'm glad since I'm still getting used to it, a lot of these have the little, they're sleeper earrings, so they've got the flat back. Hot ah, tamale, that hurts. Oh, this one hurts the most, you guys. But you know what's funny is I feel like this one hurt the most putting it in for the first time too. I also have like a massive one there, but I don't have a smaller one. Mm. 
Y'all, did I just go through all of that to now have to put the Annalisa in still? Because the twisty's not wanting to work. Oh wait, did I get it? I did. No blood. We're good. Is this set? Yes, okay. Oh, Lord almighty. Okay, you guys. Do I feel a little bit like I'm 16 again? Yes, do I care? No. This might not last. I'm a very impulsive person, but this feels really I good. think I'm gonna leave you with that. I am about to order some new earrings. I definitely wanna get a little stud here and then I'm thinking a little, oh, I shouldn't have touched that. Oh, that hurt. Okay, and then I'm thinking a little, um, a little leaf like thing to fill up more right there. But I'm really happy that I did this. And I wanted to say too, I was totally like influenced by, gosh, I feel so bad. I forgot her name, but whatever her name is from In the Fro, her. And then Lydia Elise Millen's like earring stack. I've been admiring it again lately and it totally influenced me. So a lot of things came into it, as I said before. And as I even said in my why I only wear dresses video, I'm a very all than nothing person. So in a couple months, in a couple weeks, these might all be gone again, then they might be back. Who knows? We'll see. But this is where we are right now. And yeah, I'm still waiting to hear back from my husband. He hasn't seen the picture yet, but I already sent the picture to my sister and she responded and was like freaking out, loved it. So that was fun. <laughs> but literally all that I have left to do today is just fold my towels that you guys saw me put in and make dinner and that's it. Then I'm done for the day. So thank you so much for coming along with me on this day in the life. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. These are some of my favorite videos to film, so I think they might become more regular. We might actually be getting into a schedule of Tuesday uploads of Day in the Lives, but we'll see. No promises, it's a thought, but who knows? Sorry if you hear my neighbors upstairs moving stuff, but that's that. I will see you guys next time. Bye.